Hi, I'm Jerry Gibbs, and today I'd like to look at how we apply dehumidifiers to a flooded house. So we're in this flooded kitchen, and the flood has actually come from above. And what's happened here is the bath waste has failed. So the entire contents of the bath was dropped into the roof space above this kitchen and cascaded down the wall. And whilst the policy holders have mopped up as much as possible, we've still got quite a lot of trapped water. And so what we want to look at is how we can dry and take the water out of the wall and the ceiling. And critically, we want to do this in a way where the policyholder can still use this kitchen. Because if we disable the kitchen, the family has to move out. The critical thing is that we must have a kitchen or a bathroom in order to survive in our house. And if we can save that and keep the people in the house, that uh, saves a lot of mental well-being and saves a significant amount of expense. So the leak from the bath above, which has put water into the ceiling and cascaded down the wall, has left residual water there. And we can see that on the thermal imaging camera. We can see the pattern of the damp here. And so really that's what we want to dry. Now, traditionally, people may have done that by standing a dehumidifier in the middle of this room and using an air mover to blow at that wall. And that was, that was acceptable at the time and it worked quite well. The problem is, this is a working kitchen. So the dehumidifier spends more time and more energy trying to dry the policyholder's lifestyle, their cooking, their cleaning, and the doors being open and everything else. It dries the environment. And it doesn't focus its energy on what's actually wet. So to, to reduce this impact of the lifestyle of the policyholder, what we really need to do is focus the energy from the dehumidifier on the wet wall. Now to do that, we're gonna build a tent. So we've identified that the ceiling is wet here and the wall is wet here. So I really need to build a close fitting tent that I could take the air from the dehumidifier and blow it into. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different techniques that we could use. We've identified that the wall here is wet. So to focus the energy of the dehumidifier on the wall, we need some plastic sheeting. How we apply that plastic sheeting is entirely up to us. So we could, if we wanted to, use some form of spray adhesive and spray tack and spray lines across the ceiling, down the wall, either side of the area that we wish to dry, and then take the plastic sheet in and stick it on. And that would give us our tent. If we wanted to, we could take our plastic sheet in, wrap it in a piece of wood, Turn it over a couple of times. And then I could pin the plastic sheet to the wood through to the wall. Now I have another tent. But if I didn't want to damage the wall at all, I need a, to create a tent that stands off. So the zip, wall pole, zip pole system works fairly simply. We have a pad. It's going to go through the plastic sheet. pushed onto the plastic sheet and then clipped to retain. I take my poles clip the pole to the pad I put the pad against the ceiling extend the pole and lock it the numerous types of system like this, they all work exactly the same way. You have a springy bit at the end of the pole, and a pole that telescopes and locks. So, I have my tent on the wall. I've tensioned the tent at the bottom using the foot of the pole. Now I have a taut flat tent against the wall and that's my focus. Well, we identified that the ceiling was also wet, so I want to create the same thing on the ceiling. Plastic pad. Clip. You 
open up my tent. Now, I've created a focus. The plastic sheet is against the areas that are wet, both on the ceiling and the wall. So all I need now to do is to get the air from the dehumidifier to blow into this tent, and then I've got my drying chamber. And I've already put some tape on this tent, which is where the air is going to go into. So having constructed our tent, we now need to work out how we get the air from the dehumidifier into the tent. And there's a couple of different ways. Now we traditionally use lay flat tubing because it's sacrificial and it's easy and we can get lots of lengths. So I want to show you some ways that we could get that lay flat tubing into this tent. Because historically people may have just tucked the lay flat over the top of the tent or poked it in the side. And um, there are better ways. So I want to show you one, one way. We're going to make a flange. It's a very simple, simple system. We're going to use a tie wrap. Let's take a tie wrap, feed the end of the tie wrap through itself the reverse way round, not the way so it clicks. Because we don't want it to actually fully lock. We're going to take the, the lay flat tubing, put that through the tie wrap. Curl the end of the tie onto itself. Wrap the tubing over and round and through, and then open it up, and we create a flange. Now, that flange needs to fit into the plastic sheet, so what we're going to do is put some tape on the plastic sheet, cut a crisscross in the plastic sheet, take the flange, poke the flange through the crisscross, and pull back. Now, my tube is trapped in my tent. So I'm going to do another one of those for the tent part at the top. And that won't come out of there either. That's secure. There's no tape. So there's no adhesion to fail. The, tent, the, the tube is not going to get blown out through the night when we're not watching. It's stuck in there fairly well. It's a very simple process. I'll make another one. Tuck the tie wrap in through the crisscross that we created. And there, our ducting is trapped in the tent. So all we need to do now is connect the lay flat ducting to the dehumidifier. To allow people to stay in this house, we need to maintain the functionality of the kitchen and trip hazards and things that can catch, like this tubing in this lay flat, is not going to work very well. So really we need to clear spaces because if people catch this and trip on it, they're going to damage the tent, they'll pull it off the dehumidifier, it's going to stop it working. So this is quite straightforward because there's no weight to the ducting. And in most kitchens, there are some lights in the center of the ceiling. And in this case, the lights have been pulled out to aid the drying in the ceiling because the ceiling void was wet. So we've slid a hook into there. We're gonna tie a piece of string, a wire around the ducting. We're gonna tie it in a little knot. And hook the string over the hook, neaten that up and now the ducting will stay above head height.